Hello there, history enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, where we uncover the captivating stories of remarkable individuals who have left an indelible mark on our world. Today we are diving deep into the life and legacy of a legendary military leader. He is none other than General Matthew Bunker Ridway, a man whose strategic brilliance and unwavering determination reshaped American military history. Let's get started. Born on March 3, 1895 in Fort Monroe, Virginia, Matthew Bunker Ridway was the son of Colonel Thomas Ridway, an artillery officer in Ruth Ridway. His early exposure to the military ethos played a crucial role in shaping his character. Ridway's journey began in earnest at the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he graduated in 1917, a year early due to America's entry into World War I. He was initially assigned to the 3rd Infantry, stationed in New York. Throughout the interwar period, he served in various infantry assignments, gradually rising through the ranks. World War II presented the first significant test of Ridway's leadership abilities. He was instrumental in the formation of the 82nd Airborne Division, and as Major General, he led this Airborne Infantry Division into combat in Sicily and Italy during the Allied invasion of 1943, known as Operation Husky. The division's success in this operation marked America's first victory over German forces in World War II. The most defining moment of Ridway's leadership in World War II came with Operation Overlord, the D-Day invasion of Normandy in June 1944. The 82nd and the 101st Airborne Divisions were assigned the task of securing the flanks of the landing beaches. Under Ridway's command, the 82nd Airborne parachuted behind enemy lines and successfully seized key points thereby ensuring the success of the Allied invasion. Following World War II, Ridway served as the U.S. Army's Deputy Chief of Staff and then as the Commander-in-Chief of the Caribbean Defense Command before being deployed to the Korean War in December 1950. In Korea, Ridway took command of the demoralized 8th Army at a time when the UN forces were on the brink of being pushed off the peninsula. His dynamic leadership restored morale. His strategy, Operation Killer, aimed at destroying enemy forces rather than territorial gain, proved pivotal in reversing the course of the war. His success in Korea led to his promotion to full general in April 1951, and he succeeded Douglas MacArthur as Supreme Commander of the United Nations and U.S. forces. Ridway was also a significant player in the geopolitical theater of the Cold War. As Supreme Allied Commander Europe from 1952 to 1953, he was responsible for organizing the defense of Western Europe against potential Soviet aggression. He faced this challenge head-on, focusing on creating a cohesive and unified NATO defense force. His impressive career culminated in his appointment as the U.S. Army Chief of Staff in 1953. He used this position to advocate for conventional military capability, recognizing that warfare was not just about nuclear power. Ridway retired from the military in 1955 but remained an influential figure, offering criticism on American foreign policy, including opposition to the Vietnam War. His ideas on the restrained use of military force and the importance of diplomacy resonate with modern strategic thinking. His military decorations were numerous, including the Distinguished Service Cross, Army Distinguished Service Medal, and Silver Star from the United States, and international honors like the British Order of the Bath and the French Legion d'Honneur. As we bring this incredible journey to a close, we can't help but be in awe of General Matthew Bunker Ridway's enduring legacy. His leadership qualities, strategic brilliance and moral courage significantly shaped American military strategy and defense policies throughout the mid-20th century. From his early days at West Point to his pivotal role in World War II and the Korean War, he epitomized the qualities of a true military genius. Old iron tits left an indelible mark on American military strategy showing us the power of innovative thinking, strategic brilliance, and unwavering determination. We hope you found this exploration of his life as fascinating as we did. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow history enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories from the pages of history. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep embracing the remarkable tales that have shaped our world.